You know, I haven't done the enchantment thing yet. Normally I would take Herd Bale off out of this pack and go green white tokens. But I kinda wanna go Sanctum Weaver and like see if I can make enchantments work. The issue with enchantments in this format is that like all the enchantment payoffs are rares. <laughs> They're not worth anything, so they go around the table when they are opened. You're just like not guaranteed for them to actually get opened. Yeah, right? I feel like I'd be a lot more comforted right now, Farf Narkel, if I had a bucket. Say la vie. Oh wow, Nettle Sist can work in fucking enchantments, can't it? What a great card. It's a foil, so like whatever the other person took was a rare or a mythic, right? <clears throat> so not surprising. Probably money. Not a ton of cards that are better than Nettle Sist in this format. Because the artifact lands. So Unholy Heat is the best card in the pack. Knighted Mirror is the best card with Nettle Cyst or Silver Bluff Bridge. I think I'm just gonna take the Heat. We're not really like committed to anything right now, right? Yeah. So Prophetic Titan is the best card in this pack. Soul Talisman is actually not bad. And there's Unholy Heat here as well. It's not bad and limited. You just need to have the right curve for it. I'm just gonna take the Titan out of this pack. This card rules. Oh, absolutely, Dendi. This is a lot of unholy heats. I feel like I'm in the right lane. We just passed one too. King Ninja Bow is pretty easy to find. I swear. Ooh, I like this card. It's also two different types in the graveyard for Delirium. Right now we have three Delirium cards. Maybe live in that rug life. Need a search function for the avatars. Yeah, most people don't change them every few seconds like an asshole. <laughs> not literally changing them every day. <laughs> so I understand why they have not added that particular feature. <laughs> The more I change them, the more I like figure out where stuff is too, the quicker it is for me to grab. Oh, this is a hell of a pack. Yeah, I like Yosri a lot. I like Foundation Breaker a lot. They're both great cards. Where was the Scuttle Tide in that last deck? The last deck would have been insane with the Scuttle Tide. We were so good at finding Master, and we like didn't have a ton to do with it. I guess Scuttle Tide's also delirium based. I think I want Foundation Breaker. Sometimes Usury just pops the fuck off. Fuck. Yeah, hard pick. Taking 10 damage. I had an opponent take 10 damage and then scoop. The other day I drew four cards. Felt amazing. I 
not as amazing as it could could feel, of course. Usually you're drawing two or three cards. I think I'm supposed to grab the bridge here. The infiltrator is kind of sweet with nettle cyst. But I think I want some artifact lands. I guess this is off color. I'll grab the infiltrator. Red green archetype, storm. Yeah, yeah. Which we actually made work the other day. That glimpse deck. Oh my god. I'm never gonna get over that glimpse deck. I'll be on my fucking deathbed and I'll be thinking about that deck. Quite possibly my favorite draft of all time. It's up on the YouTube. I think the title says, like, okay, now I've peaked or something. If you did not catch that draft live, you 100% should watch it. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Hey, Alejandro Sante, thanks for 49 months. LFG, no regrets, this is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's fucking go. How have you been? For folks that don't know, uh, Alejandro very kindly donated his time to make my uh, my moto overlay here. The animated green flowing around my text boxes and stuff. Super cool folk. You unplugged for like three years? Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame him. Was it good? Am I going to the islands this New Year's? I am not, no. No, I think all the travel that I'm gonna be doing this year is already all planned out. And I'm going to be traveling once for, unless like a really particular magic tournament happens and that pulls me away. I'm thinking I'm going to be traveling for, um, I'm going to Germany for a concert, like literally four days from now. And then I'll be traveling for Gen Con. I think that's, uh, I think that's it. Well, this is a hell of a pack. When I pack one, pick one of that Sanctum Weaver, I thought it would be a Sterling Grove deck. And now, now I'm less sure. <laughs> With the Counterspell in there and stuff. It feels like blue-red is uh, open, as it were. And I should probably be drafting like the Mind Collapse, the Clyde Scorch. Wave to Sifter is tempting. Too bad Sterling Grove can't tutor for Nettle Cyst. Shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Hey, Box of the Shoes! Thanks, 86 months. What concert? Oh, the Germany thing? Um, It's a uh, Desert Fest Berlin. Oh, we've got a place out there now? That's fucking hype as shit. It's a very kind offer. You up on that some year. I kinda just wanna draft this stupid dragon. Can we add another color? We're not like really married to green. I have two green cards and they're both fixing. And here we've got Bridge, Hard Evidence, and Fast Furious. Fast Furious, another one that's two cards, two different types in the graveyard. 
If you get enough loot effects, you don't actually have to play green for this. You can just like bend the ruin and then flash it back. Kind of nice. Speaking of which, how about this loot effect? There's not very many sweepers in the format too. I kind of want this Fast and the Furious. But I kind of want this Rustville Bridge. I'm actually going to play the dragon. Yeah. Another Road to Ruin. This card's decent. Yeah, let's draft another four-color pile. Those are fun. Those were a good time. Do you want another Kaleidoscorch? A Jade Avenger? Disciple? Second, or a Razor Tide Bridge as an option? I think I want to make sure I have the artifact lands for the Nettle to be just consistently good. So I'm going to grab the bridge here. A second Kaleidoscorch would be awesome. Now that we're dipping into four colors. Hello, Titan! Ah, I fucking love this card. I think we're gonna have Delirium fairly consistently, too. I got an enchantment creature. I can grab an artifact creature. Soul Snare could help with Delirium. This is a late mind collapse. I already have one Razor Tide Bridge. I think we're hard evidence here. So right now it looks like we're splashing green for fixing, and we sort of are, but like, this fixing has removal spells stapled to the backside. And it helps us get Delirium. Hey, what up, Borland? Should I try making lucid dreams work? Probably not. <laughs> That is a late Jade Avenger. Do I add a color? What do you think, chat? <laughs> I think I gotta. It's only one more color. It's free. It's, it's so free. <laughs> if I was only three colors, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go for it. Don't want a third on Holy Heat? I suppose so. Or the Creeper. Creeper's pretty good in five color. Nice. So Bray's Apprentice is pretty decent. I want this radiant. One siege rhino, please. I think I'm cutting counter spell. I'll think about it. <coughs> 
An Ornithopter would be real hot. So we're not a Fractured Sanity deck. For me, this is between Orchard Strider or this uh, Dark Moss Bridge. I'm gonna grab the Dark Moss. Grab into the dual land. And again? Yeah, the cool side benefit of grabbing all this Dark Moss is the um, the Nettle Cyst is also going to be awesome. So our mana for the five color is going to be awesome, and our Nettle Cyst is going to be a sweet card. Oh shit, what up? Hey to Bo One, thanks for getting five subs. Congratulations to Doc Prof Foxbeard, to NBA Jam, to the Burrito Wizard, to Andrew Three, and to Simulemo. Congrats, folks. Oh shit, what up? And thanks, Tobo. Uh, is the double black on Flay Essence oh, a bit extra, a bit much? It feels a little extra. Oh, shit, what up? Other cards I would draft, though, you know? I don't think I want any of this. Maybe I just want Spinner because it's an artifact creature for Delirium. I'm looking at this Hydra, I'm looking at this Disciple. I like both those cards a lot. Another land? Red green, huh? It feels like we're base red green. We have no red green duels right now. That is a late Rift Sower. Oh, that's so good for me. What a gift. What a fucking gift. How goes the MH2 drafts? Uh, I scrubbed my first one of the day. But I think this deck's exciting. Oh shit, what up? Hey, I'm um, Kuchi. Thanks for the sob, thanks for the 12 months, the full year. I wonder if I overrate hard evidence. I always draft these mid-range piles. And <laughs> just put, like, always have multiple crabs. Two of my favorite cards in the whole format here between Jade Avenger and Wave Sifter. I think because we have a Jade Avenger and double hard evidence already, that we don't need that much more early game. So I'm gonna grab the Wave Sifter. Oh, there's another one. Oh my. It's almost a bit much, huh? Sideboard and anti-flyer card that I'm gonna forget about. Yeah, if I'd known a second wave sifter was coming, we already have these like prophetic titans and stuff, so we like we don't need that much late game value. If I'd known the second wave sifter was coming, I would have grabbed Jade Avenger. That's alright. We could have used some land cyclers. We have these nice road to ruins. We have all this nice, nice green fixing. We should be okay. I'm gonna cut the flay essence. Uh, I think my favorite is Neo followed by Dominaria Draft Ace. I think MH2 is probably a top five draft format for me. If not, uh, definitely top 10. Move the crack open over when I meant to do the Rift Sower. Uh, 
Yeah, I wonder if I actually cut a wave sifter with a hydra. Could cut so shiny. It's a little clunky, huh? We have some token producers for it, but it is my clunkiest removal spell in comparison to like Mind Collapse, Heats, Clyde Scorch. And then we could also cut Counterspell, that is an option. Counterspell's so good though. So this is very obviously not enough green sources. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we need like seven minimum, preferably eight. And then for red, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nine, ten. Yeah, we just need the one mountain. Swamp's good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten also. We could also cut one of these forests and play uh, one more mountain. I don't hate that, especially with the Mind Collapse. <laughs> mind Collapse is perfectly fine to just cast. Mm, but it might be nice to be able to sack to it. Especially putting a lane in the graveyard gives us delirium. Yeah, let's do that. Let's play one more mountain. Nine green's enough. We don't need ten. Right now we have uh, about eight blue sources, if you count the road to ruins and such. So yes, I think I think there's enough here. Kind of hit the, the fire breathing on Shivan Dragon. You got it. This track. This is a hot opener. We're not even gonna bleed plane cycle. Ramping the dragon. Supposed to Jade Avenger. Then we can Clyde Scorch something next turn. Or we'll play the Thorn Glint. Oh, the second mountain is nice for a uh, flashing back ruin, too. Yeah, yeah, I like that. If we shock and they sack in response and find a land, then that'd be good for us. But if we shock and they sack in response and they find a non-land, we'd get fucked. This is why we're heating instead of scorching. Kinda surprised I didn't do the block sack thing. 
they're intending to sack anyway. Uh, this is a fistful of dynamite. The track. We've, which we've actually heard already today, but I'm cool with it. Oh, the auger can't block. Good call. That makes that <laughs> less of a thing. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, that's a great fucking draw. Chain of War, thanks for the sub, thanks for the 41 months. You had a blast last night, here's more Bucket Adventures. Yeah, to more Bucket Adventures. My opponent's 5-4 has Menace, so jumping here is not an option. Stabilize the old life total a bit. At this point, we have a few different answers to the curator. But I think I'm just going to spend a turn draining them, jumping with crabs. That old biscuit. Mm -hmm. trade. Or are they killing the crab? They probably didn't mean to do that. I don't recognize this track at all, <laughs> but it's amazing. <laughs> Oh, okay. This is just my name is nobody. I recognize it now. I didn't recognize the intro. Yeah, our opponent flooded a bit, and we had infinite value. I'm sorry. Me and I cooperated.
We did not cast Black Lotus that game, no. I've been meaning to put Garth together for EDH. Find the right tokens. And I did that, and then I didn't actually build the <laughs> didn't build the EDH deck. Gonna turn one silver bluff, then turn two hard evidence, play the floor and glint, then we can Jade Avenger, and hopefully play a third comes to play tap land on three. Yeah, I have one of those two orange. The Dual Masters Black Lotus. The original Dual Masters Black Lotus had the Dual Masters border, and that's the one that I have. And then they made one with a magic border, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not buying a second one. <laughs> And then I've got um, a Shivan Dragon uh, Artist Proof that's painted by Melissa Benson, and it looks really nice. And then uh, Amy Weber sketched Disenchant. I think I have time to do this. I think I want either island or mountain. Let's grab mountain so we can flashback. And that also lets me play Prof Titan, right? Next turn we're gonna play Nettle Cyst plus one of these two drops. And that's gonna be awesome too. This is pleasant, I like this shit. This five color shit. Mm, big old multicolored dookie. That card's usually bad, Glimmer Barn. It's usually like not a good card, but I have been fucked up with it before. So I guess I respect it. Is the Sorcerer Speed casting on Road for F6 value? Oh, because it's uh, an instant. I guess. Doesn't really matter. I like I'm holding up counters or whatever. I've looked at the Glibber Baron art. Very adorable. Only two card types in the bin. Oh, they chattering. I kind of want to flashback Kaleidoscorch on this Gorger. Because I know that card's going to do some work. This juices up the nettle cyst in a very pleasant way, though. They just ate it? They just ate seven? It's a lot to eat. I'm a big guy, I like eating. Well, that seems like a lot. I 
I think next turn Titan's just gonna be an FTK. Kill the Scourger. Slow the clock down a bit. A smidge of hair. They're eating it? They're eating another seven? Just taking it all? With one zesty gulp? I'm not saying that I've never seen someone take seven before. The internet exists. That just seems like a lot. I was wondering if this crack open was gonna do anything for me. Yeah, Rackham, were you getting a lot of life? Yeah, this deck might rule. Got a lot of premium shit in here. I kind of feel like I can't keep this hand. We have four of our five colors, but all of our cards in this opener are of the color we're missing, and they're like very expensive. We could like wave sifter on two and then start cracking, but that just seems so slow, right? This looks better to me. Let's keep this. Let's put the Titan back. Or maybe the hard evidence should have gone back. We've opened zero Ragavans, yeah. Last time H2 stream, we opened some real money. Haven't really gotten any today so far. Well, my opponent's doing nothing. I kind of wish I'd kept that. <laughs> Sift your evoke hand. Land, please. Any old land at all. And they're roading. Oh man. I'm so jelly. Legend is worth more than Megaban. Are you saying I'm drafting the wrong format? Pro probably am. <laughs> EV wise. This, so much, this format's so much more fun though. It's so much more fun. And we know the prices of these cards is just gonna fucking skyrocket again when the set leaves. Streets is one of the formats of all time. <laughs> one of the, one of the formats, you know the ones. 
Ruin does not hit Planeswalkers. Yeah, possible I should just cast a road here. Just hoping to apply some pressure to this uh, Gaedron. Oh, oh shit, what up? Hey, Shark Snacks, thanks for 42 months. Yeah, I think they got me. I guess Heat hits Planeswalkers. I was thinking about trying to make Flay Essence work, but it seems kind of bad. Yeah, we needed the, the Red Enchantment Land Cycler. I think we only saw like one over the course of the draft. But one of those would have been real nice here in terms of getting Delirium quickly. Flyer kill spell. They just played one. They just played one flyer. Maybe we see like a lot of flyers. Hello? If I put back the Jade Avenger, I'd have all five colors for the Garth. This way I'm gonna need to draw one more land. Well, I think I, I think just about any land in the deck does it, huh? Might be literally any deck, any land. If it's coming to play tap land, though, I'd much draw it, prefer to draw it this next turn than on turn five, obviously. Except forests, that's true. There's three more forests that would not do the trick. Usually I'm very averse to evoking Wave Sifter, but right here we don't have much else to do with our mana, and our deck is like really stuffed to the gills with value, so we just want to hit our land drops. Garth was not pack one, pick one. We were four colors when we opened up Garth in pack three, and then we added black, which worked out reasonably because we also got a Radiant Epic here. We're gonna run up a mountain.
Alright, come on, Garth. <laughs> the opponent, the removal spell, I guess they just have a removal spell already, huh? With this Road to Ruin. I wonder if I should have dicked around for like a billion turns. That's not nearly as fun. Bone shards. Bone shards not discarding master. Hey, good luck with the marriage. Unliving fiend. Hope everything goes pleasant. At the end of the day, it's just a celebration, right? Your folks and loved ones. Coming together and <laughs> celebrating a personal decision. This Chancellor thing. That could be obnoxious if it started popping off. Yeah, the other option is to make another dragon here, but I think we just want to answer this now. I think their goal is to force me to use a removal spell on this master. Only crack open was instant. Yet another mountain or an island. Good turn to get rid of that spear, hum. I suppose I'll kill this visionary. Kinda wanna draw a card. Adventure cards do not count as two for delirium. I 
Can't take three forever, unfortunately. Kaleidoscorch? Ooh. That's an ugly one. That one can go face. Fucking drain rhino thing. That's what I need. Yeah, so we've gotten 10 cards, 10 lands in our top 20 cards. Two of those lands we pulled out, though, with random spells. Oh, I was going to snap save five. <laughs> they probably could have won the fucking game off that. <laughs> Train right now. So we can't actually take a hit from this. Because this Kaleida Scorch in the graveyard. And we kind of need Radiant in the near future. All right, 11 of 17 lands accounted for. This is like the most feel bad card to spend a removal spell on. Come on, deck. Come on. Three card types, eh? <laughs> Turn 14. Um, oh well. Take the mountain for future delirium. Yeah, that would have played out better. Next draw was gonna be doing me any favors though. Yeah, that was one of the reasons that I played two mountains too. Just help me get delirium. Maybe I should be playing. Oh, that's not the loot thing. Yeah, I don't know. If we had a win a way of binning one of these artifact lands, that'd be really nice. Like one of the red loot cards would help our deck out a lot. Sands Dece. There's things that could go wrong, but there's a lot that could go right. I think our average draw complements this hand really nicely. Take the heat. <laughs> Land, please. Yes. That one's okay.
almost want to crack the clue there. So we here land for the turn. Do I got fun plans this weekend? Uh, an old friend is in town. Might s snag lunch with them tomorrow. But otherwise, no, not really. Yeah, get in there, crab. Oh yeah, Inclusor. Yeah, that's up on uh, that's up on the YouTube already. The Stanley Parable VOD. Had a lot of good feedback about that stream. It seemed like folks had a good time. I thought it was a great stream. I had a blast. I enjoyed that game. Not for everybody, but. Everything doesn't have to be for everybody. Kinda hate this. Well, it's gonna let me tighten next turn. No Frylock. So we're gonna do this at sorcery for the flashback. And then next turn we can wave sifter and start cracking clues. Stabilize. Yeah, I think this is better than playing the Ustream. But it's got one card left in hand. They have a removal spell for me, I'd rather they use it on Wave Sifter than the U stream. And this way we get to crack clues and stuff. Chainer is a dicking. We have removal for it, but we need it sooner rather than later. Interesting, Doc Prof. Yeah, my D and my D and D uh, group is on hiatus for a few weeks. Everyone's got stuff up at the same time, so we only played once or twice this month. Your time has come, Crab. It is not on my radar, no, creator. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Hey, Untouched Marlin, thanks for 48 months. Yeah, this is kind of what I thought was going to happen. I hoped it was going to happen, but I, I thought it was going to. Yeah, five to the, five to the again.
Maybe I shouldn't be attacking with that card. <laughs> Touch Brown with the 48 months. Your emotional support bucket. Yeah, everyone needs a everyone needs a nice calming bucket every now and again. Well that game was sweet. We got that Clyde Scorch right in fucking time. Just stabilized there from that chain aim. A little bit of back and forth going on. This reading Depic here has been like all I I wanted to draw. Oh, card's fucking nuts. Always lucky? I, I lost last round. What are you talking about? Always lucky. I don't hate Air Amoeba against this opponent. I think I'm gonna crack the crack open. Mm, just a nice blocker. Would be so shiny's better. What's a rotisserie draft? A rotisserie draft is when um, I guess there's a couple of different ways you can do it. But the classic way is rather than pick a card out of your pack, hidden, and then passing, the card is cracked face up. And everyone stares at it. And then the first person picks a card, and the second person picks a card, and it goes around. And then the last person gets a wheel, and so they draft two cards, and it goes back around to the first person. And then it goes around like that. So it's a lot slower. But uh, information is handled in a more interesting way than a typical draft. Especially interesting... Um, for hate drafting and team drafts and the like. Hey, Casey's on. Thanks for the sod. Thanks for the 16 months. 16, baby. Hell yeah. You can also rotisserie draft with like an entire cube. So I've done it with Vintage Cube before. Where you have all the entire cube as an option. And so like pack one, pick one. Someone can grab a Soul Ring or a Black Lotus or something. And then it goes around that way. Until people are done drafting. I should just be flashing Mad Clyde Scorch this turn. I'm letting them untap with a discard outlet and a way to ping off things if they've got like an artifact land or something. Pretty bad, pretty bad on my part. Just autopiloting a little bit. This is okay though. Not the end of the world. Click through their attacks, huh? Awkward. Quite nice. Hmm. 
And right now I've got a nice life buffer, so I don't actually care about this kitchen imp hitting me. Instead, I'm going to take out a blocker. down to 20. I guess I should crack the clue first, huh? Don't want to trade. That's fine. I'm trying to think what else what else in here. Yeah, it's fine. There's like the giant that can kill it. The giant's gonna be a good top deck, kinda regardless. Oh, there's those roads. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be traded. Hell yeah. Dragon, dragon. Opponent scooping on the spot. Not interested in uh, dragging it out. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that dragon scales really well into the late game. 